Hello everyone, my name is Kola, I'm an APA technical trainer and this lesson is part of the Learning Bytes series. In this lesson, I will demonstrate how to use JavaScript on web pages. What I want to do in this short video, on the Yahoo web page, I want to paste the text in the search field, I want to click search button, all that with a JavaScript. The JavaScript functionality is part of the HTML page screen element. So in order to run JavaScript on the web page, I need first of all to capture the HTML page. I will open the yahoo.com page in my Internet Explorer browser. Then I can go back to my designer and I can capture from this page the search box. And I can capture the search button. I will rename my elements very quick. This one will be search text box, and this one will be search button. To run the JavaScript on this page, I need to expose HTML page screen element. So I will make all elements visible. I will find my web page and in the identification, you can see the screen element type is HTML document. So I will make him visible. And now I'm ready to use the JavaScript on this HTML document. I will create four text business entities. For that, I will switch to business entities module and I will create text business entity, which will hold my text to search. I will create another one, which will hold my paste command. Another one, which will hold my click command. And one last, to hold my search name. I will create a type and instance which will hold my search function. And I will call this type JSFunk instance. And I will create the according function. This function will be invoked every time when my text to search will be modified via monitor. So I will go to the business logic. I will create new event handler, text modified. It will handle the event, the value of text to search was modified and it will invoke my function. Now, when all the necessary preparations are done, we can proceed actually to creating our JavaScript function. Some of the JavaScript commands may return the value. For example, if I know the ID of HTML element, I can retrieve its name. On the Yahoo uh, web page, I can inspect the search box. I can find the ID of the search box. Let's copy it. I can go to console. And I can type the command document get element by ID. I can paste the ID which I copied before, and I can retrieve its name P. Exactly the same I can do invoking the JavaScript from my code. Let's copy the last command and let's run it from our function. I will copy this line. I will go to my function. And we have uh, one function that 
allow us to invoke the JavaScript, to run the JavaScript, and also to assign its return value to our business entity. So I will assign into search name the screen element which is HTML document run script with return value I will provide the JavaScript here AAA for some variable and this AAA will be assigned into the search name. Let's test our function. I will run it. And my Yahoo page is opened here. I will bring up the monitor. In the business entities, I will provide some text to search. And my command just goes and brings the name of the search box over here. To paste the value to the search box over here, I will use another JavaScript command, which will be document get element by name if we know the name. And we know the name, the name is P. I add the first element of this collection. I can assign its value to be ABC. And this command will provide the value here in the search box. So let's copy this command. Let's assign it to our business entity. Paste command, I will assign the concatenation, which is part of the text library. I will concatenate the beginning of my command. The name, which I already have. the continue of that command and the value I will take from another business entity and in the end I will add the quotes and we are ready to test our solution. To run this command on my HTML page, I will invoke the function of my HTML document. I will invoke function of run script. This function does not return nothing. I should only provide the script. And my script now is assigned to the paste command. So let's choose it. And let's test our solution. I will bring up my monitor. And I will provide some text to search. SDF. And the SDF was provided to this text, text uh, box for search. Let's prepare the last command, which will click the search button. I can actually go back to my Chrome, that need the monitor at this moment, and I can inspect this search button. This button have ID as well. And I will use this ID in command of document get element by ID. And I will paste the ID over here. And I can invoke the function click.
Let's copy this last command. Let's go back to our code and let's assign to my click command the line which I copied previously. Now, to run this script, I will invoke the command of my screen element Yahoo page and I will invoke the run script async command which does not wait until the command execution and I can choose my business entity click command over here and let's see the results I will run my main project let's open the monitor and let's pick uh, uh, let's uh, maximize the page let's provide some text to search dog my dog was pasted and my sir, uh, my search button was clicked this is it for this lesson enjoy other videos of learning by syria